as WRTV's Adam Shumes wants you to meet two women here in Indiana caught in the crossroads of this ongoing invasion. Their journeys to the Hoosier State were completely different. In Moscow, they say it's kind of like it's a very difficult situation. People are scared. For Jana Shanitsina, she has been a ballerina for as long as she could remember. She escaped Russia in 1991 in search of a better life and eventually made her way to the Hoosier State. Of course, the Russian people right now are really scared because they're all closed and they cannot do. And for IU Bloomington senior lecturer Sophia Asher, she's lived in Indiana for the last nine years and she was born in Ukraine. A lot of my students, they also have friends back in, EU, back in Ukraine or Russia. So it's... Uh, it's difficult for them. Sophia and Jana are both caught in the crossroads of an invasion that is happening away from their current home. Like on the streets, it's a lot of even police there. So like watching them because it's, it's so it's doing the war. That's what it feels like. It's a war. It's impacting their daily life, but it hasn't stopped the two from doing their jobs and more importantly, what they love. Native of Ukraine, I work hard on giving more platform to Ukraine, Ukrainian language, Ukrainian people less to what could have caused someone to do something to Ukraine. For Sofia and Jana, they both have seen the invasion from two different sides as it enters its third week. Going around there and stopping people, if they actually saying, oh, we are against, you know, war, they taking them to the jail. So that's what's happened. If you don't say anything, they OK. They both will tell you at the end of the day, they just want peace. Myself and everybody I know who has family and connections in Ukraine, for them it feels like one big, one long nightmare. Working for you. They're scared for their families. They're scared for, ev for everything. But they don't know what's going to happen with them. Adam Shumes, WR TV. Jada tells us that she feels for the people of Ukraine as well, and she describes that pain similar to the connection that you have for your brother or sister when they are in danger.